Virgo, this is all about you. And on a day that's so perfect for you because this is the Capricorn new moon, hashtag cosmic Christmas. This is your yes daily, uh, weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. But this is also the day that we write our list for the universe to bring in and manifest the life that we want over the course of next year. This is that day, the Capricorn new moon, and you know exactly how to work within Capricorn, how to schedule, how to plan, how to stick to that schedule, how to um, be practical and practiced. You know exactly what to do. So Virgo, do you and make your plan and write down your plan for all the manifestations and what you want to bring into your life in 2020 because Virgo it's right here it's, it's absolutely right here and today is the day this is cosmic Christmas this is the this is the new moon in Capricorn Virgo this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from born without boundaries for Virgo sun moon rising signs Venus signs or ever Virgo influences your natal chart you can take these energies and apply it to that that portion of your natal chart that house <clears throat> whatever wherever virgo influences your natal chart remember if the energies don't fit please don't squeeze it this is for energy seven days out Ooh, and things are popping out violently virgo not just violently chaotically and that is not like you, but I feel like you got a lot of confidence this week. Holy moly, flying out more. What did I say? This is destiny. All these cards flying out. I'm not even playing around. This is 100% destiny. Act as if. So this is the fake it till you make it or also fly on the wall card. Pretending to be something that you're not or pretending that you have something. Remember I said this was a master manifestation period for you? Virgo, this is when you act as if. What do you already want? What do you have? Act as if you already have it. This is putting yourself in the energy of I have, of this already belongs to me, or this is already mine, or he or she does already love me, or I'm in love, I'm in love. Not I'm looking for love, where's my love? But I am in love, I am in love. And just work in that energy starting this starting today starting tonight write down your intentions as if i'm saying thank you for what i already have in my life that's what you do this is the energy of you know putting on the putting on the costume putting on the makeup it's almost like putting your abundance on from the outside in so whether or not it's actually physically arrived in your world already this is the energy of but it's already here but I already have it, of living every single day as if you already have it. But this is also a truth being revealed because you see that the chameleon is starting to shed its skin. So this is already, this is also truth being revealed. So I wonder what is the truth that's going to be revealed or an opportunity or something that was hidden that is now coming out of, not the shadows, this is actually something that would hide in plain sight that just hadn't revealed itself yet and now it's becoming very, very clear. The next two cards that came out are Sweet Results Awake. So this is hard work, like I talked about, hard work yielding sweet, sweet honey. So this is the sweet, sweet honey. Virgo, this is you tasting the sweetness of life. This is also the be successful and be yourself because this is my Leo card. This is also a seven. Seven means manifestation. Seven days and seven nights. That's the number of creation. So this is you manifesting and working hard, manifesting abundance and bringing it into your life. And this is those sweet results you're getting to actually suckle on this week. Let spirit be your guide. You're going to trust in what's ahead of you because the future is looking really sweet for you, Virgo. But there's definitely something on the horizon and look for it. In other words, set your sights on the future because you have enough now. The resources are there for you. You don't have to scrimp. You don't have to save anymore. The resources are there for you and you have it. You can actually, whatever situation you're in right now, maybe you're a little bit hesitant. Maybe you're a little bit doubtful. You're not so sure. You're a little bit shaky. No, you have a future here. You definitely have a future with whatever, um, with whatever you're sort of feeling right now. Three plus two is five. This is also a card of change, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a positive change. In other words, it's look to the future. Yes, things are going to change in the future. Positive changes coming in. It's happening. It's all happening. 
Um, be peace. This is a Libra energy coming in, uh, flying directly to you, a message of peace coming to you this coming week. Um, maybe you're a little bit on guard from it. You don't really know what to expect. Maybe the person or this message doesn't matter as much as you thought it would, but there's definitely some sort of delivery that's going to help balance out your life this week. It's going to bring you this state of relaxation and finally, finally some happiness in my life. This could be somebody trying to come back and make a, a declaration of peace or um, attempt to make peace with you. You're going to be on guard. It's almost going to be something like you're protecting what you have now because a part of you emotionally has already moved on from whoever this person is coming back, coming back into your life. Whatever this offer is, this is flipped turn. Oh no, I thought this was turned upside down. It's not, it's straight up. The abundant universe will provide. You have the two most beautiful cards in the deck in terms of luck uh, right here. So sweet results await. You're gonna be getting some resources in, whether it comes in money, whether it comes in gifts. There's going to be something that comes in, a message that comes in. This is a messenger of peace. You're gonna get some good news this week. That's what it's saying. Almost from a spirit world, maybe from a spirit world, maybe from ancestors, maybe an inheritance that's coming in, maybe um, a revelation that's coming in, something that you didn't know that gives you some sort of um, insight or uh, access to assets that you didn't know that you had. This is abundance coming in and, be, and providing. And also, um, I don't know if you have a Taurus in your life, but this is Taurus. This is stable earth energy. This is being being able to have so much abundance that you can sort of, um, um, hold on, hold on, push back. Yeah, there is a sense of push back, push back, not, not really care as much as you normally would about about somebody's opinion of you or about this person, a person wanting to come back into your life or about a, a piece. In other words, you, you just don't care as much as you thought you would because the truth is you found a real solid space in yourself. You're very, very happy right now. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. The abundant universe will provide be peace. If you have been waiting for a, a receipt to receive a breakthrough, something coming through, believe me, it's happening. And as I see this, this is the central energy of your reading. This is stability. This is be able this is this is resources that you could build a home on. So there is a message here or an offering of peace and stability here. Transformation is beautiful, but it's in reverse. So that means that you're going to stay where you are. It doesn't mean that your life isn't dawning. It means that it's it's solidifying. So there's this energy of just um Finding your home, returning back to your loved ones. Um, transformation is beautiful. Then we have this card, Take the Lead. This is a beautiful card too. See, he, his uh, antlers, are, I always say, are antenna. Antenna accepting messages from the ether. So it's almost like you know the way. You're the guiding light now. Oh, I understand. So this is almost the transferring of from one generation to another. This is generational transfer. Now the fate of the family is in your hands. There is a sense of um, this could be you getting married. You know, this could be you moving out of the house and, and now you're moving into your house and you're the one that's, that's, that's going to be in charge of all the holiday dinners that your parents used to be in charge of. This is this right here, what I'm seeing is generational shift, a generational shift of responsibility and energy, but you're prepared for it. You're ready for it. That's what I see especially with take the lead. So this is not, this is transitional. You are transitional, but everybody's coming toward you. Like you, that you're, in other words, you are the hub of the transition, not the actual one transitioning. The transition for you is being that solid center of your family life, if that makes sense for you. 
take the lead. Yeah, you're being handed the reins. And there's, there's definitely two spirit messages coming through here. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if some sort of dream or message starts coming through this week for you from some sort of somebody who's passed on who loves you very much. There's definitely this energy of those, like the spirit world being your guide and protecting you this week and also coming through loud and clear, almost through you. This is like, um, yeah, well, this is a very, okay, hold on. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. This is really beautiful. This is a 10 card too. Think 10 of pentacles or the 10 of cups. This is abundance and fulfillment right before you transcend into the next phase of your life, which would be in the traditional tarot would be the eight, the ace, the aces. Um, learn from the past, but this is in reverse. There's also this sense of, um, stubbornness never forget never forgetting never giving up never wanting to not letting go learn from the past repeating your same mistakes no no that's not what this is not next to this card elephant in reverse Oh, two plus five is also another creation card because two plus five, if you see it, that's seven. So this is more about creation, Virgo. This is about starting something new, brand new. Do you see almost like he's taking root and his trunk is growing up? This is about you starting new. I'm getting some major phallic energy coming through there too. A very masculine. But there's also, um, there's a lot coming through for you. Use your mind wisely. So this is being, this is energy of being strategic and, and not jumping in or believing foolish things. But this is also when pigs fly. So it's almost like an opportunity that you thought would never come true is now coming true. Four plus seven is 11. Two elevens, two. Let me see if any more energy wants to come out on your grounding energy. Is this a very spiritual card as if you have now become the major, and now you have become the embodiment of your family's history and it lives in you and you're starting to make a new line or a new history. Okay, so there is a sense of you see clearly now, but that's in reverse and make your dreams real, but that's in reverse. Grounding you, that's very unstable energy. You know what I feel Virgo? I feel like at this point I'm, in this next seven days, you're going to believe in the unbelievable. You're going to believe in the impossible. There is going to be a huge surge toward you shifting into this energy of risk taker, of being willing or wanting to take a risk. And I think it's because you have enough. You have so much abundance in your life now. This abundance came through and it's made you not necessarily devil may care, but more loose in terms of what you're willing to try. Make your dreams real. Oh wait, this is the energy of basically being clouded or crowded by somebody else's wishes and desires for you. A very manipulative mother energy is coming through here. So this is mother energy too because um, elephant is actually very uh, feminine energy. They're, they're mothers and they never forget. But this could be your mother losing her memory or your mother, your mother losing her mind or your mother imposing her will on you, mother, grandmother, something like an obligation that's been passed down for you to deal with. And you feel like you didn't see it coming. It, you sort of got sideswiped by it. 
Let me turn the camera around so you can see the cards. It's almost like you get this abundance that comes into you for, um, for your life, like that comes into your life. And then somebody's trying to take it away from you. Like somebody's trying to take this and, and almost like find a way to make it theirs or, or somebody's kind of trying to come in and like make it seem like it's, 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 you're lucky you have it. It's because of them or, you know, give some to me or, or all of a sudden you now maybe have an ill grandparent or parent that you have to be the one to take care of. And you thought that you were going to be able to have all this abundance for you. But now it's like, oh, but mom has to come live with us type of thing. You know, it's like, it's kind of that mixed energy of yes there's this beautiful future ahead and your eyes should be on the future but there's also this malefic energy of somebody that just doesn't want to like let you go or somebody's like holding on to you making kind of making you feel shitty about it trying to guilt trip you and manipulate you into thinking that you know you're being foolish or you're being silly or you shouldn't do it and it's really just because they kind of want you to stay exactly where you are. Do you see? It's like you have all this abundance in your life, but but the, you're not transforming. You're not letting go. You're not you're not you're not blossoming. And it's almost it's almost like this energy of not wanting to blossom, like having all of this abundance around you and all the spiritual energy is saying you need to move forward, but for some reason you don't want to let go. You don't want to let go of maybe this relationship with your mother. Maybe you're very attached to her, attached to being near her and that's what's holding you back because you don't want to leave you don't want to you don't want to leave the the root the nest but the spirit is saying you need to leave the nest this is your time virgo what are you doing here you're almost like flying backwards instead of forward there's some sort of pull or gravity pulling you down or pulling you back and i don't really know what that is at least not from these cards but i'm going to get into it i'm going to dig into this let's go over to the tarot reading and then also, we'll do your love reading over there too. Virgo, I'll see you over there. <laughs> 